Welcome to another episode of Heal vs. Mano Card. Today I'm going to uh, talk about a custom uh, figure I've been working on for a while with ideas with Hawkman. And he, there's been many iterations of Hawkman over the years. And he's not necessarily one of my favorite characters in like DC, but I've always liked the looks of him and, and a lot of the ideas behind him. Like, like him being from outer space and some iterations of him from an alien race. And then the whole reincarnation thing with him. I, I've always liked when they mixed that and kind of had it be a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Um, but I've been floating around ideas for doing a Hawkman for a while. It's just a fun little project. And so when I got two spirits, G.I. Joe classified spirits, I was like, hmm, I'm going to get on this now. I think this is a good base body for this. And I, I enjoyed stuff like Hawk World. I liked the ideas and everything behind it more than the actual stories they did for the most part. Uh, but there's a lot to love about Hawk Man and Hawk Girl. And uh, again, probably the best thing they've ever did is the Justice League cartoon versions of her. But, you know, the Barbarian with wings, or Conan with wings, as some people have called him. A lot of people want to say Conan with guns, and Conan with this and that. He's Hawkman, and he, he's really cool, and there's something just about that design, and the ideas behind all the iterations that make you want to, you know, at least pay attention to what you're seeing. He's brute force, but he's more than that. If you have the right writers behind him, he can be a lot more than that. Um, so, yeah. So I finished my Hawkman, I started today on streaming before the weather, uh, got in the way, <laughs> it made the stream in a lot earlier. It turned out pretty good I think, incorporating some of the old DC stuff in there and these random wings I got at the dollar store. I am going to have to end up hanging those wings in because you know, I tried like a, a number of different super glues and they just don't stay in. They pop off really easy. Uh, but yeah, I like the belt and, and doing the jet potion thing. Uh, I think the mask fits on there really good. I like that it's high on him and I like that it looks clearly like a mask. And I even like the paint job I did all right. So, yeah. I think he looks pretty good. So after taking him out and playing with him for a bit, taking some pictures, there's a couple of things. Those wings, I really need to uh, take those in. Like, I like them, and I like how they place and stuff like that. Uh, but, they're just, like, too fragile. I could try, like I said, I tried, like, a lot of different super glues, and it just won't stay in good, good and glued. Uh, another issue is, is with that belt on it and I know it's going in that like 
tip is much motion because I had to glue it down far enough but it's still up so it kind of blocks swivel which is not a huge thing uh overall I like I don't think I got my push uh like I say every time I make a custom DC figure I really wish McFarlane figures were sizing up where they could go with it.